Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Well, today's video you must have guessed by now. Uh, I will be telling you my top five foundations. Well, uh, that doesn't mean that I have tried all the foundations till date, but the ones which I have purchased, I have around nine to ten foundations, and from there I'm I'll be selecting my top five, my go-to foundations, which I generally tend to pick up the most without any further delay let's begin the first foundation is from sugar and this is drop the base serum foundation this retails for 8.99 set volume of this bottle is 20 ml this is quite expensive right but if you get it from sugar website you're going to get 50 percent off and it is throughout the year so you can buy anytime i think they have reduced the price this is quite a light foundation um i like it because uh, when i am not in mood to apply um, heavy foundations i don't like to apply foundations on regular basis suppose i have to apply just even out my skin tone i want to go very light on my skin I generally use this foundation uh, it has around 10 shades um, and they have quite many undertones as well I was so confused with the shades and all I ended up buying 52 Coretto which is quite darker for me my skin tone uh, so what I do is I generally mix it up with my light foundation or my CC cream and then I use it you can apply it with your uh, fingers or with your brush and beauty blender but I generally like using a beauty blender a damn beauty blender that works the best gives a natural finish okay the finish is so natural you can actually see your uh, skin it's light to sheer coverage you can't uh, you know like build it up also because it's a serum base of this foundation it's quite runny and make sure you uh, shake the bottle before using it look so you can see how dark it is but you can't help it this is how it is because it is serum based it doesn't dry out your skin at all i think it's good for people those who have dry skin it looks like after it is kind of a moisturizer i mean it doesn't dry at all and it has got that velvety finish so yeah this is how it looks after applying you have to give it some time it has to settle uh, can you see the sheen nice sheen right so this is one of my favorite uh, the next product is from a uh, wet and wild and yeah this is the photo focus uh, foundation from wet and wild In photo focus is because it undergone some seven different photo lighting uh, conditions uh, so that it gives a flawless uh, look when you uh, click pictures um, it retails for it retails for 6.99 at volume of this bottle is 30 ml uh, you get it on Nika as well as uh, on HOK makeup it is medium to full coverage it is really good for oily skin people because it has a matte finish and for dry skin i'm going to recommend you to use just a single layer without using any loose powder uh, because it might cling to your uh, dry patches you make sure that you use the, the heavy moisturizer the packaging is something like this it's got a spatula which is actually good you don't have to use you know any uh, back of your hand or anything so I'm just i'll just show you the texture it's quite uh yeah it's not runny it's kind of creamy and dries out very quickly so you have to blend it very fast yeah this is how it looks like see how it but it covers quite quickly it's like medium to full coverage right so you have to blend it first it is light 
let's move on to the third foundation third favorite foundation is from l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear i'm in the shade radiant honey why is this my favorite because it stays for 24 hours it actually does i mean um i didn't check for 24 hours but it actually stays for eight to nine hours the price of this product is 1200 uh, the net volume of this bottle is 30 ml it comes in this pump that way you can also uh, maintain the hygiene level it's quite travel friendly let's see the consistency yeah kind of thick but also runny medium to full coverage you can build it up and nice it gives a nice glow to your face it dries out very quickly so you have you gotta be very quick in blending it and you have to give it some time to settle it down otherwise uh, you know when you apply it fresh on your face uh, the your face looks made up but if you give it some time let it settle down and then you can see the difference um, it's going to look far more better uh, afterwards so yeah so it looks beautiful on the skin and uh, this is actually again my uh, favorite foundation i don't like very thick foundations i like those these uh, light kind of foundations that doesn't have any um, weight and it feels light on the skin and also the skin can breathe that yeah, is my third favorite foundation so the fourth favorite foundation is the mac studio fix fluid foundation the net volume of this bottle is 30 ml it has spf it comes in this glass bottle the only drawback is it comes like this so you know you might end up wasting too much of product if you want to get the pump thing they are going to uh, you have to buy it separately so uh, that's the only drawback but uh, otherwise this is a great foundation got nice medium to high coverage and uh, you can build it up and it doesn't feel heavy on your skin uh, the consistency is thick blends like a dream it blends beautifully also it stays the foundation stays for 8 to 10 um, hours the, the cost is around 2900 i know it's quite expensive but the bottle is going to, going to last you long it's a great foundation actually also the foundation photographs well it doesn't give any flashbacks your face looks flawless in the pictures the so mac foundation is non-comedogenic paraben free and it's cruelty free it doesn't clog your pores as i said it's, it's non-comedogenic so yeah i highly recommend this foundation and uh, you're not going to regret buying this foundation jump into the next one one of the best foundations which i have used till date is nars i just love this foundation i know it's very expensive i got it from the us but here uh, the cost is for it cost for around 3500 it gives a nice sheer glow to your face the shade which i have got is um, syracuse i haven't found a shade that's like exactly my skin tone i mean uh, it's so close to my skin tone that I don't have to color correct my face. It is the only foundation where I don't have to apply any corrector on my face. Paraben free, it's dermatologically tested, it's uh, non comedogenic uh, and also it's good for um, normal to dry skin. Do you the consistency? So the consistency is thick and yeah. And you need a very little product and it is going to give you such a nice coverage as well and also it's so light it's so easily blendable nice sheer glow to the face 
it doesn't feel heavy at all it, it's not dry at all and you can also see like it dries so quickly that it's not even leaving any mark yeah well this is it this was my uh, top five uh, foundations from the collection what i have got i hope um, you liked the video and if you did please don't forget to give a big thumbs up i'll come up with some different video next time and uh, do let me know in the comment section which are your favorite foundations and i'll see you in my next video till then you take care bye bye